guys welcome back so today I wanted to play in one of the new palettes that I purchased over the last few weeks I actually have seen this palette roaming around on my Instagram timeline for quite a while and I just recently went ahead bit the bullet and purchased it so this here is the plain in makeup by Yolando Jam Rock Rebirth Eyeshadow Palette. I know that's a mouthful, but that's the name of her brand. Plain in Makeup by Yolando. And she is a beautiful woman of color, business owner, makeup lover, makeup artist. And you know, she's out there doing the dang thing, but I'm new to her brand. Wanted to try it out, so I want to go ahead and play in it today and share it with you guys. So this is what the palette looks like on the outside, on the back this gorgeous gorgeous packaging as you can see there's no ingredients or weight or anything like that listed on the back but I will go ahead and have some information scrolling for you I do know that it is cruelty free now this palette here it's just a regular cardboard palette it's not super duper it doesn't feel cheap at all but it is pretty lightweight there is a nice size mirror in here for those of you who care and these are the colors in this palette you guys I'm pretty sure you can easily see why I was drawn to this palette it's absolutely beautiful just gorgeous the shade range the colors as you can see you can do your everyday basic eye looks or something simple maybe if you're just going on a date or a wedding or to work but you can also create bold looks with bright pops of color as you can see you know of course that's what I went for but it's a very versatile palette in my opinion and that's why I really really like it so just some information on the website it says here the Jam Rock Rebirth eyeshadow palette is packed with 24 creamy pigmented shades and I would definitely say that's true you have duochromes and mattes and shimmers in this eyeshadow palette you can create dramatic playful or simple looks just like I said highly pigmented and vibrant shades it's also cruelty free so those are just some basic specs on this palette let's go ahead and jump into some swatches and I'll give you some of my thoughts on the shades that I used and what my first impression you know is of this palette swatches for this palette you guys as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous extremely colorful but there's still the basic shades that you need to have in a palette for it to be very versatile so I really really like that when I swatched it I was just like so excited to decide what kind of eye look I wanted to do for you guys today so as you can see I got kind of wild and crazy with my cut crease but I did want to play with some of the colors that I thought were extremely gorgeous now I did go in with this matte purple shade here in my crease area and I smoked it out with this lighter kind of like a salmon type shade for my you know crease area and up towards my brow bone and I also went in with a cut crease and the shades that were my favorite for the shimmers was this gorgeous green of course and then when I saw this blue and this purple I just I had to use it so those are the colors that I put on my cut crease and I must say I was not disappointed with any of the shadows that I used today they performed beautifully now when I created this eye look I was very pleased at how easily the shades blended into each other the ones that I used in my crease 
are very nicely pigmented. They weren't dull or dusty or patchy at all. They went on super easy, smooth and creamy and they just were very easy to work with. Now, when she created this palette, I feel like the colors she chose were a great combination of colors. I think it is very vibrant and playful. And I also feel like the shimmers that she chose are just super duper gorgeous. The formula is really nice. When I was doing my cut crease and blending the green and the blue and the purple into each other, they just blended so nicely and created a really, really nice cut crease for me. So I'm very pleased with this palette as a first impression. I had a good time using it. I do want to try and create a few more looks doing like some using the browns along maybe with the purples and some of the simple more everyday colors in this palette just to create a simple eye look but if you're looking for a palette that's pretty well rounded where you can play around with pops of color but you can also just do a regular everyday look this is a great choice it's an indie brand it's a woman a woman of color I think that it would be a great purchase for you. It retailed for $35, like I said. They are actually running a summer sale right now where you can use the code SUMMER and get 25% off. So no better time than the present to go ahead and pick something up if you like this palette. But like I said, it's just a first impression for me. I like it. And if you'd like to see how I created this look, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Hi guys, okay, so I'm going to start off today using some of my MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre, and I'm just going to place this all over my lids to prep them before I jump into this eye look. And I also decided I wanted to use tape today because I wanted a nice sharp edge for this look. So I'm starting out today with the color Tough. And it's a really pretty kind of like deep plum type shade and as you can see I'm using a dense crease brush to just kind of carve out the shape that I want for this eyeshadow look today I want it kind of drug out so I'm pulling it kind of far on the outer portion of my eyelid and as you can see this color is very nicely pigmented very pretty next I'm going to take the shade that up and I'm going to use that to blend out the edge of that first shade. And these two colors blended very nicely together. As you can see, it's kind of like a salmon or a nice light kind of mix between a red and a pink shade. But I'm just using that on the upper portion of my lid, like I said, to blend out the first color. And it worked very, very nicely. Now that I have those two shades done, I want to cut my crease. So I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm just carving out the shape that I want for my cut crease today. And as you can see, this is going to be a pretty dramatic look, so I'm taking that cut crease all the way out to the edge. For the first shade on my cut crease, I'm using this gorgeous green shade and it's called Party. And this is a shimmer shadow, but it does have like tiny flecks of glitter in there. So that's why I went ahead and sprayed my brush because I wanted to kind of control any fallout that I might get. But this shadow wasn't bad at all with fallout. And it's very, very pretty. You can't see it that well on the camera, but this green is super, super gorgeous in person. So I'm just gently tapping to place that on the first part of my cut crease. Now I'm going into this beautiful blue shade, spraying my brush once again. This shade is called Bless Up. I like these names. And I'm just placing that right next to the green, tapping it gently over the edge of that green as well, just to blend these colors together as usual. And these shimmers blended in together like a dream. I mean, they just look so beautiful together. So I'm just tapping and spraying making sure that I keep those colors nice and vivid on the lid. Now for the last color for this cut crease, I'm using this beautiful purple shade, which is fluffy. 
and I'm using a very small detail brush because I want to make sure I get it right up against the edge of that line on the outer portion and I'm just dragging it into that blue gently pressing and blending it so that I have a nice seamless gradient look for this cut crease and as you can see that purple is just absolutely gorgeous very pretty and vibrant and it created a beautiful beautiful lid now I'm just going to add some of my wet n wild black liquid eyeliner just to create a small wing for this look today now I'm going to go off camera and complete my complexion and then I will come back and we'll finish up this look I wanted to keep my lower lash line simple today so I'm just using my Milani stay put black pencil eyeliner and I'm just doing that on my lower lash line and I'm using my pixie mascara today on my upper and my lower lashes and this is basically it for this look today you guys I know me saying I'm keeping it simple this <laughs> is kind of crazy because this is not a simple look at all but I really enjoyed using this palette. I hope you guys like this look and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.